Hi. Hi. Okay. It is 3.01. Uh, so we will get started. We don't want to take too much of your time on this beautiful uh, fall day. Uh, my name is Jason Mathis, and I am the CEO of the Downtown Partnership. It's a pleasure to welcome you all here today for this very exciting announcement. Um, and with that, I will turn it over to our fabulous deputy mayor uh, to make the announcement and talk about what the city is doing. Thank you, Jason. So good to see so many familiar faces as we haven't been able to get together in the way that we do in the St. Pete way for far too long. But my goodness, this virtual gathering really is testament that in St. Pete, although we're forced to separate, we are never apart. So thank you for being here and thank you for caring about our city and thank you for caring about USF and USF St. Pete and the College of Marine Sciences. Big thanks to Dean Tom Frazier, Jason Mathis, the board of St. Pete's Downtown Partnership and to everyone on the USF team for bringing us together today. And special thanks to former Dean, Dr. Peter Betzer. I hope that Dr. Betzer is on today because his vision of diversity and inclusion in the region's marine sciences programs really planted the seed we celebrate today. Dr. Betzer, as many of you know, is and was a, a treasured champion uh, of and for our city uh, for so many years. And he told the story and advocated for the need to find ways to expand diversity within the marine uh, science program every time I saw him for more than 20 years. It was a story that he told and he felt and he lived with passion. And I'm so pleased and honored today to share that all of those exchanges taught me so much, taught our city so much and manifest in this day. The city has found a way to help make that imperative a reality. Dr. Betzer was and is an equity trailblazer who was way ahead of his time and we are so grateful for his leadership. So thank you, Dr. Betzer. And with great pleasure and in partnership with the city council, I am so pleased to announce that the city of St. Pete has pledged to contribute $125,000 to the University of South Florida Foundation over the next five years in support of enhanced diversity in the field of ocean science. Recently retired Dean Jack C. Dixon carried on Dr. Betzer's commitment to this cause and she and her team presented this awesome opportunity for the city to live its values last year. And finding our way to yes has been one of the most proudest moments in my time as deputy mayor and city administrator. We understand the difference this investment will make. This money will directly support the bridge to the doctorate fellowship endowment making it possible for underrepresented students of color to pursue their academic and professional passions in this critical field. City Council Chair Ed Montaneri is with us on this call and uh, I want to acknowledge his leadership and support and that of the entire council as we continue to plant seeds that promise to yield the city of opportunity that we all envision. Our vision promises opportunity for all. It pledges innovation, creativity, and preparation for us to competitively position ourselves as a future city that steps fully into its potential. And with every decision we make to invest in the initiatives, programs, places, and most importantly, people of this city, we step exponentially closer to the attainment of that vision. So for our city, for each of us on this call, and for our common commitment to this great place we are so fortunate to call home. We pledge our support of this program and we look forward to the great return we know is embedded in its unfolding. It's so beautifully aligned with our Grow Smarter initiatives and our commitment to equity and we couldn't be more pleased to partner with the university in this way. So thank you. Dr. Tomlin, thank you. Thanks for your leadership and the clear vision that you always said. I think we are so well served to have city leaders who value science, who care about science, who see it as a role for economic development, 
Um, your leadership is really valuable. And I think everyone on this call and really throughout the city is so grateful to you and to our mayor for, for what you do and to the city council. You're an amazing team and we are fortunate to, to have you all in your positions. Um, this, this partnership really is the culmination of some really important things that we care about. Higher ed, innovation, technology, and equity. It's a perfect complement to the values that underscore St. Petersburg. Uh, and with that, I'm going to introduce one of the newest community members in St. Petersburg, Dean Tom Fraser, who's going to talk about what this program will do and what this means. Wow, thanks Jason and, and to the Downtown Partnership for hosting and, and helping us to, to shine a light really on the city's uh, very generous gift, you know, um, to, to the College of Marine Science. It's, it's, it represents so much more to me than simply an, an infusion of cash into a, a graduate program at the university. Um, it it's really speaks to, uh, as, as the, um, Dr. Tallman said, to the value of diversity and inclusion. It's about recognizing uh, uh, and investing in academic uh, excellence. It's about, you know, more specifically, it's about um, the importance of investing in, in science, education, and technology, right, for societal benefit. Um, it's about creating opportunities, uh, capturing, uh, cultivating the intellectual curiosity uh, and intellectual capacity that exists not only in our local communities, but more broadly. It's a, it's a statement about St. Petersburg, about who we are. You know, I'm new, but collectively, I, you know, I'm trying to grab my hands around that, who we are and, and what we aspire to be. So, uh, you know, I thanks to everybody for, for being on this call. And uh, as uh, Dr. Thomas said, you know, um, Peter Betzer was a, a key player here. And, and I would like to echo some of the things that she said, you know, as the founding dean of the College uh, of Marine Science, you know, He's uh, had a long standing effort in, in promoting diversity in the ocean sciences arena uh, in STEM fields more broadly, right? Um, for more than 20 years, you know, he had, I guess more than 20 years ago, he really had the foresight uh, and the initiative to embark on a very ambitious uh, fundraising campaign to establish and grow the bridge to doctorate endowment. You know, the, the downtown partnership with significant support from the city's business community, right? The Tampa Bay Times and, and a number of other donors uh, were instrumental in, in launching and growing this endowment. And I want to recognize all of the donors, you know, to the College of Marine Science and the university who are celebrating with us here today. Again, thank you for being here um, and generously supporting our, our work for the years. I think the bridge to doctorate is uh, one of, the, it's a very highly visible compliment to the university's broader portfolio, portfolio excuse me, of uh, diversity focused initiatives, uh, their commitment to equity in education and uh, a strong track record of success. You know, I think we're all proud to be part of that. Um, the minority fellowship and mentoring programs that, that Peter Betzer and, uh, you know, his predecessors, uh, uh, the folks that came after him, Dr. Uh, Dixon, uh, Bill Hogarth and others, you know, they helped bring uh, to U.S. and during their tenure, uh, a significant uh, programs, and they're having an impact. Uh, the college, in fact, today leverages more than six uh, funding streams that I know, right, that help support underrepresented students. And in fact, many of those students I know are on this call today. And again, I appreciate you for being here, uh, for continuing to advocate for the college and its programs and engaging in the community. That's super important to me, and it's super important to I know everybody here. Um, you know, it's, it's worth noting, I think that the College of Marine Science uh, in partnership with the College of Engineering uh, in recent years has garnered more than $8 million from the National Science Foundation and an additional $4 million from the Sloan Foundation uh, to uh, uh, provide support for underrepresented students in our academic programs. You know, in fact, th those funds have supported at least 150 underrepresented um, uh, minority uh, uh, doctoral scholars. That's that's a lot of students, right? But that funding is going to be ending in 2023, and so the the university has kind of embarked uh, on a, another fundraising initiative to continue their support of uh, minority graduate students um, and to expand diversity in the nation's uh, STEM workforce. So I'm excited about that. But but why it's particularly important to the college, and and why does it matter now? Those are questions I think that kind of deserve a little attention. And, and I would say, I would go back to the beginning, it's because we're committed, you know, as are our partners in, in the city of St. Petersburg to leading the way, right? 
Uh, we're committed to creating a pipeline for younger students to be introduced to and encouraged to uh, pursue careers in the, in the STEM fields through pro, uh, our programs we have like Guardians of the Gulf, uh, Oceanography Camp for Girls, the Spoonbill Bowl, and, and a whole suite of uh, other educational initiatives. And I think we're doing a really good job on that front. And I want to introduce you uh, now to uh, Dr. Karina Rosario. She's a former Bridge to Doctorate recipient to tell us a little bit uh, about her experience with the program. But before I do that, I just want to let you know that Dr. Rosario, who's originally from Puerto Rico, graduated from the program in 2010, right? And she's a, a now a research scientist in, in Dr. Maya Breitbart's uh, marine genomics lab in the college and, and a very successful one at that. I don't think she's going to tutor her, her own horn that much, right? But uh, as an example, I'd say that, you know, she recently crafted her own NSF grant um, that for nearly a million dollars to look at viruses and invertebrates. And, and that's undoubtedly way more than the investment that she ever received with regard to her, her fellowship. And, and that's the type of return that we're looking for, right? And so, I could go on for, for a long time about her accomplishments, but uh, Karina, if you're on the line, I'm gonna let you say a few words. Thanks, Tim Fraser, and happy Friday to everyone. I'm excited to be here to celebrate, you know, this announcement for this special gift to CMS for the BD Fellowship. And first of all, I just wanna say from personal experience to everyone involved in making this happen, that you are changing students' life by providing a whole new world of opportunities. Like the Dean said, I am from Puerto Rico. I'm a microbiologist by training. And I wasn't really thinking about my PhD until I met some USF students from underrepresented group. I mean, underrepresented groups. And Catherine Bailey, I see her there because she was part of that group. Um, and they told me about CMS and how they had this wonderful fellowship called BD that will help me cover my PhD and how many of them were recruited through the fellowship. And I really needed to check it out. And I did. Um, Fortunately, because thanks to BD, the PhD became a, a reality for me and for sure is what brought me to CMS. On paper, BD provides financial support, but to me it's more than that. It highlighted that the college believed in me, that I had something to contribute to this community. And they believed that so much that they were willing to invest in me and that goes a long way. Um, one of the special things about CMS that I see is this close relationship with the city of St. Pete. And as exemplified by today's announcement, it's not only the college, but the community that cares about student success and building a more diverse and um, diverse and um, inclusive scientific force, which is crucial. I joined uh, CMS to study viruses in environmental samples with Dr. Maya Braybart. And these days, I think there's an understanding that we can't be looking at viruses only in humans. We need to be looking at them in animals and, and environmental reservoirs if we want to safeguard public, animal, and environmental health. And I've been hunting for viruses with Dr. Braybart since 2006, so a long time, first as a student and now as a research scientist. But thinking back, you know, during all my time here, among other things, as a graduate student, who knew that I would go to Mexico to do field work and translate videos into Spanish for the community about the sites we were researching, or that I would mentor Latino undergraduate students in Antarctica as part of the International Polar Year, or that I would do research in New Zealand, the South Pacific Islands of Tonga, and make long lasting collaborations with after, after I spent time there with some researchers. And that as a postdoc, I would write a successful grant that would allow me to go back home to Puerto Rico and do some outreach activities with students there in a rural school. And in the end, you know that CMS will become a long-term home for me. I am extremely grateful for all the doors that BD opened for me. And I'm so excited to hear that the city is invested in supporting more students that will be able to take advantage of the BD fellowship. Please know that these fellowships mean the world to some login students. Please know that. I thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of you who invested your time your talents and your vision to make this place happen. So thank you so much. I mean, Karina, I'm just, we're lucky to have you, man. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for being here. Uh, I think that was great. I mean, thanks for taking the time to share uh, your story with us. And I know it's only a small part of it, but it, it means a lot. 
Um, you know, and before I hand this back to Jason, I just wanted again to say thanks to Dr. Tomlin and, and the city. I mean, it, it's it's a really special gift, and you know, I I appreciate it a lot. I know everybody at the college and the university does, and again, the, the community. Um, I want to thank the, obviously the the downtown partnership for their continued support of diversity initiatives in the college. And we, we appreciate all of our supporters, right? And, and everything that you do for the college. And it's been a rough year, right? You know, I didn't, it's been a great time here, but you know, and it's a true, truly wonderful moment that we get a chance to celebrate. Um, and it is worth celebrating. It's these little things that, that make us uh, uh, proud of what we do and where we're going. So I uh, just want to say thank you for everybody for taking a little time out of your day to, to celebrate with us. And with that said, Jason, I, you know, I'm going to hand it back to you. Great. <laughs> Dr. Fraser, thank you. Um, you hear that enthusiasm from Dr. Rosario and wow, that makes me so excited. It, it makes me wish that maybe I'd gone into marine science instead of whatever it is that I do. Um, Dr. Fraser, thank you. Thank you to all of your predecessors, Peter Betzer, Bill Hogarth, Jackie Dixon. Each one has contributed so much to this college. And uh, I just wanted to give the last word to our deputy mayor, uh, Kanika Tomlin, who is the reason that the city's contribution is the reason that we've all come here today to celebrate. So Dr. Tomlin. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Dr. Fraser and everyone. And I just wanted to close with part of the reason this is so critically important to me personally. I noticed that Paul Tash was on the call and I was very fortunate and I grew up here in St. Petersburg and was selected as a Pointer Scholar and the Pointer Institute and Times Publishing invested in my education and fully funded my undergraduate degree and gave me the opportunity to work uh, at the St. Pete Times uh, as an intern, set the trajectory in the course of my life and exponentially changed it forever. And so supporting education in this very uh, fundamental way is a part of our DNA here in this city and I just didn't want to miss this opportunity to publicly say to Mr. Tash, thank you uh, for that investment and to encourage all of us to look for ways to invest in education, to support the College of Marine Science and to um, invest in the dreams of students and help them understand their possibilities and see greatness for them before they can see it for themselves. Thank you to the Times, thank you to the university, thank you to St. Pete for being so great. Fantastic. Well, with that, uh, kick off the weekend. Uh, this is a great way to launch the weekend. And thank you all so much for joining us for 19 minutes today for this very exciting announcement. I look forward to a day when we can celebrate face to face with alcohol. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thanks, Thanks. everybody. Kanika, good to see everybody. Thank you so great much, to everyone. everyone. Thank you all. Yeah. Thank you, Thanks, everyone. Much. It was great. There's Regina. Yes, yeah. Regina. <laughs> Thank <Thanks, Bob. laughs> Dr. Betzer. Hey, Kanika. Dr. Thank Betzer. you so much. Oh, you're wonderful. <laughs> you're wonderful. Yeah, that, that was great. great. Thank you. Hey, Dr. Dr. Another Dr. Betzer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and Ed Montaneri, our chair of city council, I see him. Their partnership makes it all possible. Thank you for your leadership. And you know, one of the first letters I wrote was to Paul Tash to try to get the endowment going. And they were they were the second donor to this whole of course. project. So they've been an important part of this from the very beginning. It is what they do. Yeah, yeah. it's great. And and thankfully they they helped you. <laughs> yes. I'm ever grateful. We yeah. are too. Yeah. God and Carol, hi, and Bill, <laughs> <laughs> Peter. Oh, hi. I just unmuted. Hi from Colorado. It's beautiful here too. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's great. Hey, Scott. Thank hey. you. Bernard. Uh, thank you, Bernard Batson, for joining us as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Bernard. Right. Bye bye. Have, Have a good day. day. Thank, you. thank you, Robin. Bye. No one wants to leave. I know. I don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone.